Hello, welcome. We are looking at trigonometry and we're looking at graphs of trig functions. In this video, we'll look at the amplitude. So we'll look at three problems here so you can make sense of it and hopefully this will help you. So let's take a look. In each of these problems, they want to know what is the amplitude. And to understand that, you have to find the midline because the, the middle the midline, the midpoint between the maximum and minimum points in a trig function is called the midline, and the amplitude is the distance from that midline to the max or min. So let's find the middle first, right, and then go from there. So how do we find the middle? Well, we average the heights of our max and min, so negative 2.2 plus negative 8.5 divided by 2. And that's going to equal, let's see what that is, um, pull up my calculator here, let the program load, right, so in the middle of function, I'm going to estimate about 5, between 5 and 6, let's see if I'm even close, negative 2.2 plus negative 8.5, enter, divide by 2, about negative 5.35, okay, so negative 5.35. All right, not bad, I got it. Um, it's about here, let's see. And now I want to find the distance from, that arrow is ridiculous, okay, from this max to this middle, and from this min to this middle. Now how do we find that distance? We, we can do lots of things, right? But let's take the absolute value. Let's make our lives easier, because here, this is our midline. The dif di difference between that and your maximum or minimum, right, subtracted in any order, but when you take the absolute value, um, will give you that distance, will give you the amplitude, right? So, so here we're subtracting it from negative 2.2, or I encourage you, put in negative 8.5, try it out. In both cases, when you subtract it from the midline and take the absolute value, you will get the amplitude, right? So in my case, it's negative 5.35 minus negative 2.2. Uh, um, but you can plug in negative 8.5, and you will get the same thing because this midline is in the middle of both of them. And in both cases, we get 3.15. And that's because amplitude is always it's a positive distance, right? You're always going to get a positive result. And by subtracting, and you can do you can take it subtract in any order, Remember, when you reverse the order of subtraction, you're only changing the sign. And since you're taking the absolute value here, it won't matter, right? So if you do 1 minus 2 or 2 minus 1, you're either going to get negative 1 or 1. You just change the sign. But if you're taking the absolute value, of course, in the end, that's just distance. So you always get the same result. And that's kind of what's happening here. So I encourage you to try it with a minimum and see you'll get the same thing. Here's a similar problem. They give us some points. You got a max and a min. We want to find our midline. So we're going to do 7.7, .7, the max, plus negative 6.7, the minimum, divided by 2. And I'm going to, this time I'll just subtract it from our maximum point there, 7.7, .7, and take the absolute value. That's all I'm going to be doing here. So to get our calculator, and actually, well, you know what? I already solved this. I already figured it out. Um, see if you can get it. Pause it. Try it out. You should get 7.2. And this is the amplitude between uh, your midline, which you know what? I didn't calculate that, so let me do that. You should get 7.7 .7 plus negative 6.7 oh, divided by 2 is 0.5. So here is our midline at 0.5 and the distance from that to this you can see it's about 7.2 and this distance would also be 7.2 here so I encourage you to try both a min and max you should you should get the same amplitude in both cases try both it takes some of the pressure off alright finally here we just want to change our strategy a little bit they say we're we have the midline at this point, 3 fifths pi and 4.2, so that tells me the height of the midlines at 4.2, and it has a minimum of negative 2 fifths pi 
and negative 4.4. So the height here is at negative 4.4, excuse me. So I want to find the amplitude. So I just, I subtract this minimum, negative 4.4, from the midline and then take the absolute value. And again, you could do it the other way, 4.2 minus negative 4.4 and take the absolute value of that. Either way, we get the same thing. We get 8.6 and that's our amplitude. And that's just the distance here between the midline and your minimum. So you're just finding that distance, that absolute value. Hope this helped.